Yeah, I saw you not long ago um, win the FA Cup. I actually watched yeah. that TV. Um, me and my dad were looking out for you. Um, so, I mean, that kind of just proves the point that we watched that game. So, um, and and definitely in the last few years, I think people, are, the TV audiences are going up, the crowds are going up, um, and that should all be stem, you know, put put it in a good stead for the game, for women's game going going forward. Um, I am quite biased, but I do think it, it's quite at the top level now, the top few teams in the country, so City being one of them, we've got quite an exciting or an entertaining product to watch on television. Yeah. Going back five years when it wasn't professional, the difference between men and women was just massive. But actually, yeah. you've got people now that are training years. every day. Is it only five years professional for? Yeah, mate. Like, uh, maybe even less than that, you know, because... Like the word professional can mean so many things. It can mean you just train every day or it can mean yeah. that you're doing it as your only job. And so really, I'd say only in the last five years, less than that even, has it become the league, the whole league, not just one team, fully professional. Yeah. How many teams are in the league at the minute in the women's game, in the Premier League? <laughs> You, you'd think I'd know this. <laughs> there's either <laughs> 11 or... Yeah, there's either 11 or 12 teams in the in the WSL or in the Super League, yeah. Okay, and are Blues in, in that league at the moment? Yeah, yeah. I was what? about to say we are then, rather than oh. they are, because I, I used to play there. I know you did, So yeah. I still can't, I can't let go that my heart bleeds blue. Yeah, I was going to say, what's it like playing against Blues? Do you play against like um, women that you knew before playing for Blues? Or? Oh, yeah. So I actually, my last league game before I got injured, I did one of the ligaments in my knee. So I've yeah. been out, I've actually been out for about a year now, but it was against Birmingham. And that was the first time oh. I'd played them after leaving Birmingham. Um, so yeah, I still know loads of the girls, know. still got on with them. Mm. That's a bit of a twist of fate, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. It is. God, uh, are you, how's the recovery going with that, with that injury? It's the, did you do your ACL, was it? Yeah, I, I did my ACL last October, actually. Um, I did a few other little funky things and so it was quite, it, it was a bit of a basket case, I, okay. I, I think, to be honest. Um, so I had surgery yeah. back in December. I was, I was lucky in that the, the damage was like surgery and then a little bit of TLC on some of the other ligaments. I didn't have any damage in the bits that I wear and tear as such, like your cartilage or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so thankfully, I'm hopefully down to the last couple of months of it now. Um, I've just started to feed back into the team training sessions. So by the time I actually play again, I'll have I'll have really I'll have really paid for my uh, for my time. Yeah, well, it must be it must be hard. Um, looking at your career, look, like, I've had a, obviously I've had a bit of a look at what what you've achieved and stuff. And from the was it under fifteen or under seventeen when you first represented England? Under yeah, I think. Yeah, 15 when I started going on camps and playing on friendly games. And then at the under 17s, you start going away on like little championships and tournaments. Yeah. And then I think, was it 18 years old you played in the Champions League? Was that? Yeah, I guess it would have been. Wow, that, that's a real blast now. Yeah, for Birmingham, actually. Yeah, so, Blue, so um, that was interesting because obviously Blue's in the. Um, I'm a Villa fan, by the way. But I don't want to be in, but Blues in the, in the male game. They're never going to get to the, the Champions League. Um, or they might do, but it, like in recent times, they, they haven't. Um, so that was interesting to see that Blues um, were at that level in the women's game. So looking at you going from Blues to Man City, if that was in the men's game, that would be like um, a big jump up in, in quality mm -hmm. of, of players and facilities and everything like that. Um, but obviously, if um, if uh, Blues win the Champions League and you go from Blues to Man City, then it suggests that there wasn't that much of a or, or a difference in in that. Um, how did you find that jump up in 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 the in the quality of the players and in facilities? Was there much of a change from Blues or? I think you're right in saying that the jump from Blues men to City men would be bigger than Blues women to City women. Yeah. Because historically, the Blues women's team has been really strong, actually. For for a good few years, they were one of the top, top 
um, English teams in, in Europe, actually. Um, and so if I'm honest, the difference was still massive. You know, it was a massive jump up in every respect. So I'm on a team now where players that are lining out into, into the team have what we've got one girl who's won the Champions League three times in a row. Really? We've got another girl who's just won the Champions League. We've got two 